What is up Aquarius? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is going to be an Aquarius reading for the week ahead, September 13th through September 20th. Please remember to only take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. First thing I was getting for you was cancellations or cancellation. You could be experiencing some travel delay okay or you could just be experiencing like spending more money than you meant than you didn't expect to spend i feel like you may be staying somewhere okay that you didn't know you were going to be staying there for as long or something like that or your trip may get extended because of a cancellation okay you could be dealing with a capricorn or have a capricorn in your chart have capricorn highly aspected in your chart sun moon rising or venus okay if this is you, I feel like you should expect travel delays this week, okay, or cancellations. This, of course, could be you canceling plans with someone or canceling plans, okay? I feel like it's not a good week to travel, okay? It's not a good week for traveling, okay? I don't know what's going on. There's, like, something wrong with the engine. There's something wrong with the plane. There's something wrong with the weather. Like, I don't know. I'm hearing back up your phone. Make sure your phone is backed up to the iCloud or something like that. Or just make sure that your phone is backed up. Or make sure that you have like an extra... You have it saved somewhere else. I'm seeing something about a memory card. Okay. Let's see though what's coming in for Aquarius this week. September 13th through the 20th. I'm hearing penguin. Don't know if that resonates. But I'm getting something about a penguin. Okay, your card for this week is burned to bridges. Something needs healing, okay? Or someone needs healing. Someone may have burned a bridge with you, or it's like maybe they keep canceling plans on you, or this is you. Somebody feels like you keep canceling plans on them. They feel like they can't get to you, or this is you. You feel like you can't get to someone. There's like some kind of obstacle, some kind of blockage here. All right, it says a strange ending on a sour note. Okay. All right. I'm getting something about Shrek. Shrek 2. Okay. Something about onions or garlic. You may want to eat more onions or garlic this week. Okay. It'll help with removing negative energy. It'll help to keep these negative energies away from you. We'll see what this is. Burned bridges. Okay. Somebody is feeling like you burned bridges or this is you. You're like, I don't want that person back. I don't want my ex back. I don't want this back. I don't want to do that again. Like, I'm hearing it's happened one too many times before. Okay, and it will surely happen again. Okay, let's see what's going on here. What needs healing for Aquarius this week? Hmm. Could be your money or your money mindset or your job. I feel like your focus this week is career. Your focus this week is money, okay? You may have to spend more money than you're used to or spend more money that you didn't expect to spend, right? I feel like things are looking really good on the shelves or you're just having like this pull to like put more in your shopping cart, put more on your online cart. I would really watch shopping online if I were you this week, okay? Because you may just feel called to hit send or you may just feel called to like buy everything in your cart, okay? I'm hearing Amazon. All right, for some of you. I'm getting something about like thousands of dollars, like a $2,000 shopping spree or something, and this might set you back financially. I don't know. I'm getting something about your finances. This could also be someone around you who feels like you spend all of their money, or you feel like someone is spending all of your money. This could be your spouse, all right, or someone you're in a relationship with who has access to your bank account, okay, or has access to your card, okay. I feel like someone is giving you a spending limit, or you need to give someone a spending limit. 414 on the timer when I said that. All right, there's positive energy coming into your finances here. I feel like you could be getting a new job, or somebody's offering you another opportunity at a job, or somebody's offering you like a new position at your job. Maybe it's like not going well at your current situation or your current job, and they're like, hey, let's move you to a different department, let's move you to another location, okay, something like that. But I'm seeing your money or your money mindset needs healing this week. Okay, so focus on that. All right. Take care of your money. Take care of yourself. Take care of your health this week. All right. Maybe you just need to heal. All right. Could also be a Capricorn. Right. 
Again, if you have Capricorn in your chart, this reading is definitely for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or North Node. I know we're doing an Aquarius reading, but Capricorn keeps coming out. Okay. Maybe it's a Capricorn who needs healing. Okay. You could be hooking up with a Capricorn this week. All right. Because I'm getting something about sexual healing. Sexual healing. There's been a lot of sex in the air this week. I don't know what's going on, but that's what I'm getting in a lot of these readings. Someone just needs to, like, release. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse, somebody coming back into your life on Thursday, okay? Could be this Capricorn. Maybe somebody is like, hey, I want to heal things with you. Hey, I want to fix things with you. And you're like, you've already burned that bridge, dude. <laughs> All right. Or this is you wanting to heal things with a Capricorn on Thursday, okay? Someone could be a Capricorn moon. All right. Let's see what else is happening here this week for Aquarius. We are doing an Aquarius reading. 555 five, five on the timer. Things are changing for you this week. All right. Page of Swords, Friday. Knight of Pentacles, Saturday. Three of Swords, Sunday. Bottom of the deck, overall energy is the Judgment card. Yeah, some kind of second chance. Somebody's asking you for a second chance this week, or somebody's giving you a second chance this week. Could also be a Virgo, okay? Or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? We'll clarify all of this, of course, but I'm seeing things moving forward for you, maybe slower than you expected, okay? I'm also getting that maybe whatever money you have to spend at the beginning of the week, it will come back to you by the end of the week, okay? In small amounts, okay? And I'm also getting that travel delay again. It's like maybe you're set to go home on Thursday or maybe you're set to go somewhere on Thursday, but then you get word about that it's going to be canceled or that someone's canceling a plan with you, someone's canceling plans, and maybe that really upsets you, but you end up finding like another place to stay. I'm getting something about Airbnb or whatever, but then the, the trip continues again on Saturday. So maybe there's like a two hour, a two day delay or a two hour delay or something like that. Yeah, you may have to stay somewhere for an extra two days, okay? I'm hearing work while you're there or make money while you're there, if that resonates. Some of you, you can make money online, Page of Swords. Maybe like on a TikTok live or a YouTube live or something like that. I don't know, I'm hearing go live, make money, if this is you. If you're worried about money, I don't know. Something needs healing. And maybe it's you feel like it's your bank account, you feel like it's your wallet or something like that. It needs healing. I don't know. So put in more energy, put in more work. Okay, something like that. Work during the delay. That's what I'm getting. Okay. I don't want to take that. We're not ready yet. I'm hearing that. Don't take it if it's not ready. That could be an omen for you. Don't take something if it's not ready. It's like somebody could be offering you something this week, but it's like three quarters of the way finished or it's like half-assed. I'm getting don't take it if it's not ready. Also, this person trying to come back into your life, they could be showing up very immature, okay? They're showing up immature, but they also want to take it slow and steady. They want to heal things with you. This is a second chance from the universe. They could be younger than you. Maybe that's what the Page of Swords is. I don't really love seeing the Page of Swords when it comes to like a relationship, but the Knight of Pentacles is immediately following it. So it's like maybe they just want to have a conversation with you and you figure some things out, you heal some things, and then the next day it's like, okay, I can see this working, right? I don't know, for some of you. But I'm getting don't take it if it's not ready, okay? Something about like a plane, right? Or like a train or something like that, like the engine is not ready or something's not ready to fly, like maybe the pilot isn't ready to fly or something like that. Yeah, don't take it if it's not ready, okay? Queen of Pentacles spending your money okay definitely i see you spending your money okay maybe very frivolously or more than you expected right it's like okay i have this expense i have that expense i have this expense like i need to have food for the next two days i need to make sure that i have this airbnb for the next two days something like that okay yeah i'm just seeing more travel delays and it's going to cost you money okay you can't help that that's just mercury retrograde right now okay that's why I feel like it might be good for you to cancel the plans. Maybe you're just going to cancel the trip altogether and say, you know what, I'll go next week or I'll go in a couple of weeks, okay? Tell me what happens. Yeah, you may want to go in October, that's what I'm getting, or near the end of October during Scorpio season, if you can. If you can travel during Scorpio season, I would do that, all right? It looks like there will be more traveling opportunities. It'll be a smoother ride, smoother experience, okay? 
if that's a possibility for you you might want to cancel something and delay it until scorpio season which i believe is like october 22nd through november 22nd something like that look it up for yourself if you're curious but it looks like october would be a better bet for you okay what's this eight of cups in the reverse what is this eight of cups in the reverse Ooh, the knight of cups in the reverse could be a pisces all right or a virgo I'm getting that someone didn't tell you that they loved you before, didn't tell you that they had feelings before, but now they are telling you that, like, out of the blue, like, all of a sudden. You're like, where is this coming from? And I feel like it's because they're having a delays in their life, too. Like, the two of you are being delayed, okay, together at the same time. You may even have a layover in this person's city or something like that, or you're having, like, a layover with this person. You may see this person at the airport, or this person's, like, traveling at the same time you're traveling or something like that. I'm getting something about reaching out to you on social media or Instagram or text, all right? Like maybe they see that you posted something like stuck in traffic, stuck here for the next two days. And they're like, oh my God, I'm stuck here for the next two days. I'm hearing Houston, if that resonates. Okay, someone's name could be Whitney or Whitney Houston is significant. I'm also hearing Megan, all right? But I'm hearing something about Houston or H-Town. Texas could be significant in general, okay? But I'm getting don't take it if it's not ready. Somebody is, like, saying that they're ready to commit now, right? They're saying, like, hey, we've had enough separation. Hey, I've learned during the separation. Hey, I've learned something now. Someone is, like, all of a sudden more spiritual. They're, like, into crystals. They're into the Bible. I don't know, okay? It's a lot. It's a lot. Somebody feels like you've had them, like, suspended or you've had them hung up, right? Someone's, like, hung up on you. Okay, it could really be a Pisces, all right? I see you getting a conversation with this person. I see things turning upside down. Okay. I see things turning around. I see, I see things changing for you, for them. All right. But there's the delay again in the middle of the week. Okay. Or the delay on Thursday, Friday. Maybe you're set to travel this weekend and then all of a sudden it gets canceled or it gets delayed. Or there's some kind of plan set for this weekend and they get delayed, they get canceled. I feel like maybe you're met, you're set to meet someone new or you're set to go to the studio or you're set to do something this weekend. Like you already have plans to go out, to see people, to meet someone or something like that. And all of a sudden it gets canceled or all of a sudden they're like, hey, can we postpone it? Can we move it back two hours? Can, I, can we do it in two days or something like that? And this is meant to happen because somebody else wants to come back into your life or somebody is trying to come back into your life. Spirit is bringing someone back into your life. All right, because maybe you have unfinished business or maybe you just haven't figured things out with this other person and you're trying to move on before clearing things up with this other person or something like that. Okay, tell me more. I'm getting that they have changed. Like you're sensing this maturity or you're becoming more mature this week. All right. Or there's something more mature about your work or more mature about how you're handling a situation. All right, I feel like you're handling the situation with maturity, like these delays, these cancellations. You're like, you know what? Cool. It is what it is. Like, it happens, you know? You can't really stop it, right? It's just going to happen regardless, so you might as well handle it with maturity, all right? But I'm also getting that somebody has matured or somebody is showing up to you more mature, right? I feel like maybe you think that they're going to be immature still or you think that they're still, like, stalking you or negative energy, whatever, what have you, but after one conversation with them, you're like, okay, wow, this has potential, this person has matured, I have matured, time has taken place, okay? Tell me more. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, the High Priestess. I feel like you can trust this person again or now. Somebody wants you to trust them. All right? I feel like you're just listening and they're doing the talking or they're doing the leading and you're just like, wow, this is different. Because I feel like for some of you, I don't know why this is turning into this, but this is what I'm getting. I'm feeling for some of you that like in the past you were the masculine role and they were the feminine role. And what I mean by that is that you like ordered all the stuff, you ordered all the stuff at the restaurant, you talked for them, like you fought their battles for them even. You were the one always like communicating, making plans, leading, so on and so forth. And now this person's like, I need to do that for Aquarius because you're not doing it for them anymore because you refuse to do it for them. That's what I'm getting. You're just kind of staying silent and letting them like make their own mistakes or something like that. And they're not making any mistakes this time. You're like, wow, this person is trustworthy now. This person has changed. This person is mature. They really do want to heal things with me. Burned bridges. They want to mend this broken 
energy. They want to mend these burned bridges, right? I feel like it's not too late. And they might say that to you. They're like, no, it's not too late. It's not too late. It's never too late is what I'm getting. Lincoln Park could be significant, okay? I'm also getting um, Guns N' Roses and 21 Pilots. Someone could be 21. All right, but I'm getting that this is not a young connection. You could be in your 20s or early 30s, something like that. We have the Four of Pentacles on the Three of Swords in the reverse. You're going to get paid again this weekend or you're going to get the money back this weekend, okay? I'm hearing save it this time, hold on to it this time, okay? Some of you already spent the money, you already hit send on that big purchase or whatever, all right? Save the money this time because it's coming in for you again, all right? I feel like Spirit is just trying to teach you a lesson on spending or teach you a lesson on like money or something like that, but by the end of the weekend, it looks like you'll be healed. That money mindset will be healed or something like that. There's money coming in for you this weekend, okay? To replenish, to restore what you have spent, okay? All right, last message for Aquarius, please, and we'll wrap this up. I feel out of breath. Do you feel out of breath? Are you struggling with, like, breathing or something like that? You're having a hard time with, like, breath. Maybe you're working out a lot. Okay. Or someone is, like, trying to catch up to you before they miss out on you or lose you. This does feel like a last chance opportunity or, like, a last ditch effort to get you back into their life. And the universe is making it a last ditch effort, too. Like, the universe is conspiring with this person because this person has shown the universe that they have changed and that you... I don't know. I don't know. You'll know what happens, but it does look like the universe is conspiring for all of this to come back around, for all of this to happen, okay? For you to mend something, for you to heal something, for you to clear something up, or this person to do all of those things, okay? But it does feel like this person's, like, out of breath. They're gonna, like, spill a lot to you, talk a lot, okay? I feel like they're doing most of the talking and you're not, and I feel like that's also surprising for some of you. Okay, they may ask you out to dinner, or they may, like, ask to come see you, right? And then they just talk. I'm getting something about like standing outside on a porch or standing outside like on a sidewalk, just like talking to you. And they just keep talking and talking and talking. And you're just listening, just listening. Yeah, I'm getting something about a plane. This could be happening in an airport, okay? All right, last message for Aquarius. Nice, we have Apple. It says risk and reward. There's a heart there in the center too. Like I feel like Spirit does want you to take this opportunity. I feel like Spirit does want you to pursue this, see what happens. Okay, risk and reward. Okay, I'm also getting something about like those travel delays or the Airbnb or the hotel. Like just book the next couple of days. Just do it. Just send it, right? You'll get the money back. It'll be okay. High risk equals high reward. Okay. All right. That's what I'm getting for you apple apples could be significant or apples could be a sign for you this weekend or this week as well okay that's where i'm gonna leave you aquarius i hope that it helped gave you some clarity gave you some answers that you were looking for i'm sending you so much love and good vibes always take care of your beautiful self stay hydrated hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel and if you'd like to tip or donate information's in the description box below until next time